everybody, it's Bunny. Let's get sassy. It's everyone's favorite time of the week, and that time is to find out, does this thing really work? Real quick, before I get started in uh, today's product, I wanted to ask you guys, I made mention of this on Facebook, and I can't stop thinking about it, but I thought I would ask you guys and see if you guys would be interested in me trying out this product in another day of does this thing really work? There is this new exercise thing that is like spreading like wildfire. I've never heard of it before. It's called rebounding and there is an as seen on TV program called urban rebounding and it is an exercise program that you get to do with a miniature baby trampoline and it just looks so wonderful and I'd love to try and do it. Would you guys be interested? Like this video if you want to see me do some trampoline exercises. I asked you guys in my last video which as seen on TV thing that you guys wanted to see first and I think a majority of you commented that you wanted to see the shimmer glitter tattoos and I have no idea how this could possibly fail. Basically these are supposed to apply in seconds and last for seven days just in case you wanted seven days of sparkly glittery rainbow butterfly on your skin. Many people probably want that. <laughs> this says that it's for ages eight plus. I'm so glad I fit into that range. I honestly I honestly can't say that I have seen this on TV, but here it is, right here, as seen on TV, so it must be on TV somewhere. There are 10 designs in here, and one of them I'm seeing is cherries, and I don't know why that is calling to me, but today I'm gonna get a lovely, sparkly cherry tattoo. I know that you guys are so excited. In the kit, we get a little baby paintbrush, and a tube of body glue, and three glitters, which is like this pink fuchsia color, this blue color, and uh, sassy alligator green. Oh, bam. There's also 10 designs, so shall we just go through them now? Oh, we shall, we shall. You can have flowers or stars, maybe some kissing love dolphins or just plain hearts. Perfect for Valentine's Day. Dragons, that's kind of super 90s looking, as is this swirling sun. Oh, it's a unicorn, a butterfly, a doggy paw print. Oh, look, it's a heart. I guess it could be a kitten too. And my personal favorite, these tacky cherries. I saved the best for last. Are there any instructions? No. Nope. All right. Oh, here are the instructions. As if I need instructions, right? I don't ever read these anyway. Where is the cat? Back on the ladder. Oh, you can't see him today. Kinda, kinda. Thanks for stealing the show every day. She is desired stencil and peel off the backing. Skin must be completely clean and dry before applying the stencil. Place stencil on the skin and remove the top clear layer, making sure that the stencil remains flat on the skin. All right, too many steps, slow down. Where should I put this? Like somewhere where everyone can see it? Maybe if I put it right here, I can like join an outlaw biker gang because nothing says I'm tough, like a bicep faux tattoo of glittery cherries. All right then, looking good. Apply thin coat of body glue. Don't mind if I do. Where did you go, body glue? Oh, right here. Uh, body glue. Do not use around the eyes. No kidding. Oh look, it's an easy paintbrush application. All right, um, I picked a stupid area. Painting, thin coat, body glue. Yeah. I bet I'm about to spill glitter all over my floor. Good thing I've got a vacuum. I have painted a thin layer of the glue. All right, yeah. Immediately remove the stencil and wait until the glitter becomes clear. All right, waiting until glue becomes clear. They don't tell me how long I'm supposed to wait. So I went to the post office today to pick up some mail and I'm in a short sleeve t-shirt and some shorts and many of the nice old ladies in line asked me if I was cold and with a complete straight face I said, no, I'm a vampire. You know, cause like vampires are impervious to temperatures and heats. I think I freaked them out just a little bit. I still haven't learned not to joke 
inappropriately with strangers. You should not let me out in public. Look, cat on a ladder once again. Hi, cat. How you doing back there? Having fun? Is it scary? Look, you're like teetering on the, oh, he's gonna go down. I'm gonna climb down now, climbing, climbing. Wait, I'm ruining it with my face. There you go. Climb on down. Don't climb on that part, no. No. Looking at the black cat on the ladder. Oh, look at his little mouth is open. What you doing? What you doing, little Boris? Look at that. Oh, it's a kitten. Kitten, kitten cam. Hi. Oh, oh, I'm glad you figured that out, that that wasn't a step. Almost clear. Look, it's like, that would be an awesome type of tattoo, like a clear tattoo that you can only see in certain light settings. No, no, just me, all right. Use glitter brush to apply the glitters to the areas with glue. Blotting method works best. Make sure to completely cover the glue with glitters. You can create a single colored or multicolored. Ooh, I just spat on myself. <laughs> That's what I get for reading passionately. You can create single colored or multicolored glitter tattoos using this method. All right, don't mind if I do. Why is this pink glitter instead of red? Cherries are red. Ooh, it's got a safety seal. Shimmer glitter tattoos kit, I like your style. All right, we are about to get some fuchsia colored cherries, which defies nature in every single possible way. Da, 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 da. Well, this is gonna take the rest of my life. Hmm. This is taking painstaking amounts of thought, time. Why can't you just dump it on here? Like the quick method. I ain't got all that time. I'm gonna use my finger instead of that brush. That brush is just taking all of my time and patience. I don't have a lot of either. I hope there's some method to clean up this glitter because right now it just looks like two purple blobs on my arm. That's just what I always wanted as a tattoo. Beautiful. I'm gonna open my own studio and open my own shimmer glitter tattoo salon. Studio, tattoo studio, don't go there. Green cherry stems, that's what we need next. Ooh, the stems are looking nice. Can you see them? Oh, the purple mountain's majesty. This looks so good. Oh, it kind of looks like cherries, doesn't it? A little bit, a little bit. Whoa, look at my arm waddle. Mmm, so sexy. Okay, going to the instructions for some kind of helpful manner to clean up my cherries. Brush away excess glitter. Brushing, carefully brushing. Can I just brush it away with my hand? Oh, once again. Hand method works best. Ew. This is so beautiful. It looks like grapes, kind of, cause they're purple and not red. So I just got an awesome shimmery, glittery grape tattoo. And it says that it should last for three to seven days under normal conditions. I wonder what on earth that means. It is waterproof, but becomes weak when subjected to prolonged time in water. Do not scrub or scratch your glitter tattoo as friction shortens the lifespan of your tattoo. That is, that's really redundant to put the same word in the sentence twice. But it's kind of fun, I don't know. I can see like definitely if you are a young child, you will find great amusement in doing these, especially in the summertime time, which is, Kind of a long way off from now, unfortunately. Oh, I need to like do some arm toning so I stop having these flabby wabby arms. Ugh, okay. Well, that just about does it for today's entertainment. I hope y'all totally enjoyed this episode of Does This Thing Really Work? And next I will be doing the gyro bowl. Still waiting on the wow cup to come in. Thank y'all so, so much for watching. If you're not already, hit that button down below. Subscribe, become a member of the Swamp Family and give an alligator its wings. Also, if you want, you can like me on Facebook, facebook.com slash graveyard girl, or you can follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, or Instagram at graveyard girl, same way it's spelled here. I love you guys so, so much, and I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye. in the windowsill and he pulled the strap of my camera and the camera, it fell. That was devastating, okay.